Yo, what up, what up? It's Ali for the uh, 6 p.m. workout of the day, Wednesday, April 15th. It's normally tax day, isn't it? So if I can just get one thumbs up or something so I know people are able to hear me, audio is working well, and you can see me, my head's gonna be cut off a little bit, and I'm gonna have to crouch down a lot because I've got my screen flipped, and um, it's the best way I can see. Anyhow. Um, 6 p.m. workout of the day is going to be all Tabata, right? So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of every exercise we do. Um, it's going to be 12 exercises, right? So Tabata tempo, 12 exercises, uh, 20 seconds on of exercise, 10 seconds rest between each exercise. I'm going to run through all 12, and I'll start all the way back from the top, and we'll do it again. And we may even get to a third time. It just depends how time goes. But anyhow, um, we're live. It's uh, 6 p.m. on the dot, so let's just start moving around. And my go-to favorite, uh, just to get some mobility in my uh, T-spine, thoracic spine, I don't know if you can see me, uh, simple walkouts, right? So stand up real tall, I know my head's cut off, but you know, you don't need to see my face. Bend over, let your hamstring stretch out. Walk out all the way into, until you're in push-up position. Wrist right over underneath your shoulders. Bring one foot up as far as you can, flat footed. Get flat footed, open up the hands to the sky so you get some T spine rotation. That's just a massive spine where you can allow some mobility. Second or two, swap sides, open up to the other side, the same exact thing. All right, a couple seconds. Bring it back down, then walk your hands back towards your feet so your hamstrings stretch out as you're coming back. And then also come up really slow, it's in one vertebrae and stack them on top of the next as you do that. So do that two more times, and I'm gonna get into what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna just explain. I'm not gonna run through all 12 of them right now because you'll forget, right? So it's gonna be simple stuff, but it's gonna be mostly chest and abs. Push-ups, scissor kicks, dips, crunches, dive bomb push-ups, I'll get to that if you don't know what it is. Leg raises, sea turtles, excuse me. Planks, planks with a shoulder touch. Uh, diamond push-ups, which are close grip, anything within shoulder width, uh, bicycle crunch, some more dips, and some plank drop downs. So it'll be uh, upper body, chest, front delt intensive, with some abs to go, all right? So first thing we're gonna start off with is push-ups, right? Again, it's gonna be a 20-10 tempo, so we're gonna do push-ups for 20 seconds, we're gonna rest for 10. Um, and during that 10 seconds rest, I'm just gonna demonstrate the next exercise, so you rest, but watch the screen, because we're gonna, that 10 seconds rolls pretty fast. All right, again, I'm Ali from Capitol Hill. Um, Keep tuning in. Yo, thank everybody for uh, y'all support, the balance, and everything that uh, Balance is trying to do to keep the community involved. All right, so let's knock out some push-ups first for 20 seconds, right? I'm gonna get my timer started. We are going in three, two, one. 20 seconds straight with push-ups. 20 seconds. Let your arms fully extend to the top. Squeeze your abs really tight as you do your push-ups. And keep your quads locked out. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a rest, but your 10 seconds rest, we're gonna go right into scissor kicks after these 10 seconds, right? This is a scissor kick, right? And that time is dwindling down already. Three, two, one, scissor kicks. So I like to keep my feet short and choppy when I point my toes or arch, right? Keep my head and shoulders off the ground. That keeps my lower back nice and happy. I also manage to push my lower back into the ground. If this doesn't feel great, raise your legs higher. Three, two, rest for 10, right? That's 10 seconds rest for you. What this we're gonna do next? Just a simple dip, floor dip. Not a lot of range of motion, but it's still effective. Three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds of floor dips, go! Keep your hands, fingers pointing forward towards your feet. Let your elbow get as much flexion as it can. Even if your butt touches the ground, you can have your feet extended, feet bent in, or excuse me, legs bent in, whatever works for you. It's a short motion, but it works out. Time, rest for 10, right? After this uh, dip, after this 10 seconds I mean, it's gonna be a simple crunch. Feet flat on the ground, come up like you're trying to kiss the ceiling, right? Don't tuck your head. In three, two, one. Just place your hands 
behind your ears, but do not tug on your head. Act like you're kissing the ceiling and not coming forward towards your pelvis. Your lips are gonna kiss the ceiling, literally. For five, four, three, two, one. Rest for 10, this 10 seconds is gonna fly. So it's dive bomber push up next, right? Dive bomber, butt air. Come down like um, a dive bomber, arch in the back, come right back the same path on left, right? In, there's time, 10 seconds. Bam, butt air, hamstrings are stretched out. Dive right down like a fish, swooping over the water, come back in. Don't rush it, shoulders engaged, chest engaged, triceps last. Bam, keep doing that for three, two, one, rest for 10, all right? So 10 seconds goes pretty fast. It's gonna be leg raise next, right? Leg raise, pretty simple. Feet are gonna go down, up, down, up. And you got five, four, three, two, one. Feet up, then down, up, down. If your lower back doesn't love this, don't go as low. Do whatever you want with your hands. Place them under your butt. Let them freely go just with intent, wherever you got your hands. For three, two, one, rest for 10. All right, after this 10 seconds, the sea turtles, if you're familiar, been doing them a lot. You're gonna be on your stomach, drawing your elbows towards the midline of your back. And go. All limbs off the ground, driving your elbows towards the center of your back. Squeeze your lats. Same muscles you would use if you're doing a pull up. Squeeze your glutes, all limbs off the ground. A little less than 10 seconds to go. Dry those elbows towards the center line of your back. Three, two, rest for 10, bam. 10 seconds to go fast, plank shoulder tension next, right? We'll stay in the same position and we'll touch our shoulders back and forth. In, three, two, one. Go, touch your shoulders. Quick, right, quick movements, not much rest. Quick movements, stay inactive. 10 seconds, hands right underneath your shoulders. And time, rest for 10. After these 10 seconds, diamond push-ups, right? Double whammy on the uh, front delts right now, and your chest, all right? Diamond push-ups are anything where your hands are within shoulder width on the ground. Three, two, Bam, go for it for 20 seconds. Diamond push-ups, emphasize the triceps. Also, squeeze your abs nice and tight. Keep your quads nice and tight and locked out. Five seconds. Two, one. Quick 10 second rest. Then we got bicycle crunches, right? Taking the opposite elbow towards the opposite knee, right? That's gonna be our next. In three, two, one, bam. Opposite elbow towards opposite knee. Quality over quantity. Rotate your thoracic spine as much as you can to get that knee towards that elbow. Three, two, one. Rest for 10. Nice job. Next up, this again. Remember the dip, we'll be on the floor. Feel free if you got a chair nearby or a bench to dip off of your bench. Get ready, go. Dip for 20 seconds. Get as much flexion in your elbows as possible. Lock out at the top, get your triceps to lock. Time, rest for 10. Next, plank drop downs. So if you remember, you've been doing this. High plank, drop down your forearms, walk back to your palms. Get ready, in three, two, one, go. Palms right underneath your shoulders. Carefully lower yourself to your elbows. Don't come crashing down, not gonna feel great. Try to minimize the hip movement. As little hip movement it's possible with these. And time, rest for 10. Excuse me, we'll take a little longer rest because that's one 
uh, episode of Ball 12 Exercise, right? All right, we got that whole thing coming again. So we're gonna take a short rest, not long. Not gonna be a minute or anything. Just mark it down. Grab water, if you got it. Towel, whatever you need. My arm's frozen, I hope it's not frozen for everybody. All right, let's get with it, right? Going back from the top, I give you the first three so it can, the transition can be pretty fast, right? Push-ups, scissor kicks, dips. Those are going to be the first three, right? 20 seconds of each. Here we go. We're going to start with our push-up. Going in three, two, one. Push-up, people. Let's go. Squeeze the abs for 20 seconds. Quality over quantity. You've got to drop down to your knees. A push-up is a push-up is a push-up. Doesn't matter, you're just a shorter version of yourself. Just don't have your butt in the air, right? So it doesn't matter how you do them. Just do them efficiently. Time, all ready. 10 seconds rest, then we go right into scissor kicks. Get ready for those scissor kicks to five, four, three, two, one, scissor kicks. Short and choppy with your scissor kicks. Try to keep your head and shoulders off the ground. Makes your lower back feel nice and happy. All about happy lower backs. Push your lower back into the ground, as a matter of fact, if you can. Five, four, three, two, time. Rest for 10. Next up is dips, right? Dips. Dips, then dive bomber push ups, then leg raises. Ready? Three, two, one. Back into our dip. It may be a short motion, but if you're squeezing your triceps at the top, just allow as much flexion as the elbow as you can. This is efficient. My butt's hitting the ground, but it's still efficient for me. Time, rest for 10. After these dips, we've got crunches, all right? Standard crunch. Hope everybody's having a good hump day. Stay healthy and safe. Here we go. Three, two, one. Simple crunch. Feet flat on the floor. Crunch like you're trying to kiss the ceiling. Don't come forward. Don't put that pressure on your neck. Like you're trying to kiss the ceiling. Keeping the neck neutral. Hands just tucked behind your ears. Not tugging. Not pulling. Three, two, one. Nice. Rest for ten. Dive bomber push-ups up next, right? It's gonna be dive bombers, then a leg raise, and a sea turtle. All right, get ready. Dive bombers in. Three, two, go. Remember the dive bomber, butts in the air to start. Come down, shoulders engaged, core, triceps, chest. Bam, bring it back. You may not get many of these if you're doing them with nice quality movements. Don't sacrifice quality for quantity. That's true of most things, right? Time, rest for 10 already. Good, rest for 10. You know what's up next? Leg raises. Leg raises in. Three, two, one. Quick transitions. Don't got time to mess around. Legs should come down about 6 to 12 inches off the ground, then to about 9 degrees. If your back doesn't love it, shorten up your range of motion. Don't go as close to the ground. Three, two, one. Nice job. Next up, sea turtles. I give you the next three. Sea turtles, the plank shoulder touches, and diamond push-ups, right? Get ready for sea turtles. In. Three, two, one. One, I like to imagine I'm just doing pull-ups, right? I'm just doing a pull-up. Get that nice tight squeeze at the bottom. Give the nice hold for a second. Isometric hold, meaning just holding it. Extend. Five, four, three, two, time. Rest for 10, nice job. Next up, plank shoulder touches. Get ready. A 10 second flies by. Three, two, 
One, plank shoulder touches. Here again, try to make minimal hip movement if you can. Squeeze your navel in towards your spine. Keep your quads locked out. And don't rush. Five, four, three, two, time. Nice job, rest for 10. After this 10 seconds, we got diamond push-ups. Again, anything within shoulder width. Here we go, diamonds and go. 20 seconds worth. A little double whammy on the shoulders, front delts especially right now. Nice, squeeze those abs all the way to the top. Quality over quantity. Effort over excuses. Time. Rest for 10. Quick 10 seconds rest. Towards the opposite elbow. The rotation is coming from your midsection. Imagine your midsection is like a wet rag and you're bringing it out, trying to get all the moisture out of it. Squeezing it. Three, two, time. Rest for 10. Nice job. Next up, dips again. Dips on the floor. Get ready for those dips. In three, two, one, dip out. Let's get it. Dip set. As normal, I got nothing playing on music wise, but I'd love to listen to Action Bronson. The intensity matches the workout intensity passion that the guy creates music with. Time. Next up, you got it. Plank drop downs. We're going on to our second round of this. We're finishing up the second round, all right? Get ready for these plank drop downs. In three, two, one. Bingo. Drop down, but in controlled motion. Don't come crashing down onto your forearms. Control it. Control your hip movement as best as possible as well. Three, two, time. Nice job. All right, two rounds down. Good job, folks. Short rest, third round coming. Third round. Very short rest. Just enough to grab some water if you got it. Dab your brow off, and we'll be back at it. Again, uh, keep tuning in. Uh, on Facebook, on the Instagram, follow Balance. Balance keeps coming up with new stuff, new ways to keep the community involved. And we appreciate everybody who tunes in. And if you haven't, get your Balance t-shirts. Balance got a, a togetherness t-shirt. Um, you can find it on, on the Balance Facebook site, and maybe IG as well, and you get yourself a t-shirt and sponsor uh, a staff member of Balance. All right, here we go. Back to push-ups, ready? 20 seconds worth of push-ups, and go. Quality over quantity. Squeeze the abs. If you're on your knees, just don't have your butt in the air. Have your hips in line with the rest of your body. Five, four, three, two, one. Next up is scissor kicks. Rest for 10, but next up is scissor kicks. Get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Scissors again. Again, short and choppy. My feet are about six to 12 inches off the ground, as well as my head and shoulders off the ground. Do whatever you like with your hands, whatever feels good, but do it uh, with purpose. Three, two, one. Rest for 10, next up is dips, right? I'll give you the next three. Dips, crunches, Dive bombers. Chest and abs back and forth for the most part. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go with these dips, baby. As much flexion as you can, no matter how short or long your arms are, lock out at the top. Lock your triceps. Have muscle on the back of your arm as tight as you can at the top. All right? Quality over quantity, time. Rest for 10. Next up, a simple crunch. We can just stay in this position, but fall back. Feet are going to be flat on the ground. 
I'm gonna kiss the ceiling. I'm not gonna come forward, I'm going straight up. In three, two, one, bam. Try to kiss that ceiling. My elbows are out wide, not pulling in. Try to kiss the ceiling. Not tugging on my head at all. My neck is neutral. Not curling my neck in towards my pelvis. Three, two, one. Nice job. Rest for 10. After this 10 seconds, we're gonna have dive bomber push-ups, leg raises, and sea turtles, all right? 20 seconds of each. I'm gonna deal right now. Get ready, dive bombers in. Three, two, one. Butt in the air. Dive down towards that ground. Come up and release, go back in the opposite direction, all right? Shoulders engaged. Come down, chest get some. Bam! Triceps get some. And take it in reverse. All right? Core is getting some too. Course. And time. Rest for 10. A little more going down. Leg raises up next. Flip right onto your back. Keep moving. One, two, one, two. No time for wasting. Three, two, one. Leg raises, right? Bam. Do whatever you do with your hands with purpose though. Right? If your back doesn't love it, don't take your feet as low to the ground. Next up, sea turtles. Three, two, one. Rest for ten. Next up, we got that sea turtle again. Imagine you're doing a pull up. Three, two, one. Let's get that sea turtle going. All limbs off the ground. Elbows. I'm going to try to touch the midline of my back, even though they never will. That's the idea. Squeeze the muscles that are responsible for pulling your elbows towards the center of your back. Focus on those. For three, two, time. Nice job. Rest for 10. All right. Next three, plank shoulder touches, diamond push-ups, and bicycle crunch. Get ready. Three, two, one. Plank shoulder touch. Minimize the hip movement. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Quality over quantity wins every time. Less than 10. Three, two, one. Rest for 10 seconds. You're gonna double whammy because you get some tricep, excuse me, some diamond push-ups. Again, if you can make a diamond, great. One alteration. If you don't like this feeling on your wrist, going out, still gonna emphasize the triceps if you flare the fingers out. Three, two, one. Let's get them. Diamond push ups. Squeeze your abs. Come all the way up. All right? Even if you're on your knees, just quality over quantity. Right? Five, four, three, two, time. Nice. Rest up. Rest for 10 seconds. Bicycle crunches up next. Making good time. Get ready. Three, two, one. Bicycle crunch. Opposite elbow going towards opposite knee. For less than 10 more seconds. For three, two, one. Nice job. Rest up. Dips up next. Dips, plank drop downs. That's all we got. Then we're going to cool it down, all right? Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get the most out of these dips, all right? Feel free if you got a chair or a bench nearby to utilize it to get more range of motion. Bam, rest for 10, right on time. One, two, one, two, let's go. Play drop downs next, last, turn, or last 20 seconds. Don't cool it down, right? Yay. We have a little participation. Here we go. All right, play drop downs, go. Control your descent towards the ground. Don't come crashing down. Keep your elbows underneath your shoulders, then your wrists 
underneath your shoulders. Put your hands right where your elbow was. Keep rocking for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. Nice job. Excellent. Bye-bye. We're going to do a quick cool down so people can get on to the uh, next activities of the evening. So this is how we'll cool down, right? We'll go on our back. Excuse me. Face down. My bad. Face down. One up. All fours, right? Invisible. Shoot your hips backwards. Reach your arms forward. Drop your head into the mat. Otherwise, on the child's pose. Try to get your hips to slide right in between your ankles back here, right in between your feet. Open your sacrum up. And reach forward with the hands. Let your lats stretch out. A couple seconds of this. Deep breaths while you're here. I'm sweating. I'm breathing hard. It's the most cardio I do. Come out of here. Go into all fours, right? Drop all the way down to the ground. Matter of fact, just lay down, have your hands next to you like you can do a push up. So, it's not just going to be up, dog. What you're going to do, squeeze your glutes really tight. Squeeze the glutes as tight as you can. Squeeze your quads. Your entire lower body is active, right? Then you're going to keep your pelvis glued to the ground, but push up. Still keeping your pelvis glued to the ground. Getting as much spinal curvature as your body can afford. Couple seconds, release everything, everything's relaxed. Butts relaxed, legs are relaxed, upper body's relaxed. Couple seconds, then again squeeze. Squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Squeeze your lower body, your quads, everything's active in the lower body. Keep the pelvis glued to the ground while pushing up, getting as much lumbar spine curvature as you can. L spine. And relax for a second. And we'll go ahead and get one more of those. Relax, 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 relax. Squeeze, activate everything in the lower body. Keep the pelvis glued to the ground. Push up as high as you can. Get as much spinal curvature as you can. And bingo. Now let's get some rotation. We'll do simple rotation. You're gonna sit on your butt, right? I'm gonna face the camera. Okay, sorry. All right, sit down. Extend the legs. Cross one knee over the other. Once you got that knee crossed over, take the opposite hand. You know this one, tuck your elbow behind your knee and get as much T-spine, thoracic spine rotation as you can. Couple seconds. Get ready to go to the other side. When you're ready, swap sides. I ain't use no lotion. Cross over, opposite arm, tuck behind the knee, rotate to the other side. Thanks for everybody spending your hump day, evening, with Balance Gym. Again, I'm Ali from Capitol Hill. Keep following Balance. Balance is putting out new stuff every day. We keep coming up with ideas on how to uh, stay closely knitted with the community as we go through uh, uncertain times. So uh, it's uncertain for everybody, but one thing Balance is doing is staying strategic and uh, keep coming up with stuff that we can all benefit from. All right, thanks. Next class coming on. Peace, peace.